Today in this video, I'm going to be properly showing you how to install Premid and also be showing you a few must-have applications for it. Hey, yeah, you probably scared you. I'm sorry. I'm not actually sorry. Yo, you know what you should feel sorry for? Not clicking that subscribe button. So if you could do me a favor and click subscribe right now, it's completely free and you can even unsubscribe later. Thanks. Enjoy the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in my description. It should be the first one and click downloads once you click that it'll say break in the rules a little transition to the application page and then you go to install for your platform for me it's windows for you might be mac os or if you're a linux loser you're using linux so i'm going to do windows it says please disable your ad block i forgot i had this refresh the page here there you go whole bunch of ads will pop up Mr. Beast will pop up with Honey. At this point, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he owns Honey, but... <laughs> Click skip up here. You'll see a little thing pop up here, but then you'll see this install right here. Once you install it, click on it. Your antivirus, depending on what you have, will maybe tell you if it's safe or not. And then it will show you the welcome page. Click next. Uh, read all this shit, right? We all read that. Everyone reads that. Um, and then click next, and then it'll start connecting to the remote server and download the application to your computer. Without this application, this whole thing just won't work, so it's pretty important. So once it's done, you can uh, give it the choice to create a desktop app and launch the app immediately. I'm going to allow it to do that. I'm just going to click next. And then at the bottom, if you look at this little application here, it says pre-mid right next to all your other ones. For me, wallpaper engine, steam, all that stuff. So that's how you know you installed the application correctly to your computer. Now you need to install the Google Chrome extension, which if you're still on the same site as me, it's super easy. All you have to do is click this little download button and it brings you down here. I thought that was a download button, but it's not. And you'll see Chrome, Firefox or Safari, whichever one you use. If you use Firefox, what the fuck? How old are you? And if you use Safari, I guess you're on a Mac. Um, but just click Chrome if you're a, a smart human. You'll see this little skip button here, load. You click skip, and then it'll open up the Google Chrome store. I already have it installed, but for you, it won't look like that. It'll just look like uh, add to Chrome. I'm going to click add to Chrome. It's going to tell me, are you sure you want to add it? I'm going to say yes. It's going to have a stroke and say thank you. After you're done that, you will want to go to your little extensions tab in the top right. Click on it. And you'll see pre-mid. You click on that now. And it'll load up its little store here. As you can see, I've used this before. For Netflix, SoundCloud, Twitch, YouTube, and all that stuff. But if you want to see more, you can go to their little store. And here's where I start recommending add-ons for them. So, if you actually use Instagram, use Instagram. If you actively use Steam, click Add. If you want to listen to podcasts on Spotify web browser, this only works for web browser. You want to add that there. And you have all these other things. If you go on Crunchyroll, if you go on TikTok, I do sometimes. It pretty much filters the most used. You can also show NSFW. So if you really wanted to, you could probably try to, it's probably a Pornhub one. There is a Pornhub one, so I'm going to add that. That might be funny. What is multi... I've never heard of that website. Probably an X videos one, yeah? Yeah, there is. Might as well add it, too. Now that I got a good amount of add-ons, time for me to actually show you what the whole point of installing this was. So, now that we're on Discord, you'll see that it says that I'm playing a game, and it's pre-mid. This is how you know it works. If this doesn't work in the beginning, by the way, just restart your Discord or restart pre-mid. I know they had issues with this before, and that's just a quick little easy way to fix it. But, as you saw, we had Instagram, Netflix, um, Pornhub, SoundCloud, Spotify, Podcast, etc. All these things installed, and I'm going to be showing you it displaying on your Discord profile as what you're doing. So I know you can't see this right now, but I'm going to youtube.com. As you as you can see, it's switched to viewing homepage. And if I click on this, you'll see that it tells you what I'm watching. Okay, it's pretty cool. 
But now if I switch to Instagram, you'll see that it just says I'm viewing my home page. And I'm going to see what happens if I try to view my actual page. It tells me what page you're on. So that's actually a bit... <laughs> if you're stalking someone, that's a bit weird. Now let's go to SoundCloud and play one of my old playlists. You can see every song I switch through. Okay, so for some reason it switched to Spotify. That's probably because I'm listening to Spotify. But my point still stands. Anything you kind of go on, it will display and play. Now I know I did install it, so I'm going to test this one. There you go. It does work. I don't know what I'm watching. I just clicked on some random thing. I just want to know if it worked, guys. <laughs> That's pretty much that. <laughs> okay, so there you go. That is pretty much how you install pre-made properly with a few applications you can add on, which let anyone who watches your Discord profile actively or just maybe you have a lot of friends and you want to see have them see you watch weird stuff. That's how you do it. <laughs> so if you did like this video, please drop it a like and subscribe for more. Peace. <laughs> Why did I say it like that?